What up ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another video and I'm going to start off by moisturizing my face with this cream that I had received in a BoxyCharm. I hope you guys are all signed up already. If not, I have a link and a code that I will leave on my description bar. You can use the code as you are finishing, as you are done signing out, it would ask you for a code. Put that in and it will help you. And Again, we're going back to moisturizing my face and then I'm going to be using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And this helps me. I love the finish that it leaves. It's a smooth yet powdery finish, which I like. If you guys don't like it, don't try it out. It does not go really good with like dry, super dry skin. That's the reason why I moisturize my face before applying it. And then I'm going to be using this Rose Hip Hydrating Oil that I'm going to be adding to my lips because I have really dry lips. And then, of course, we're going to be doing our eyebrows off camera. Now that I'm done doing my eyebrows, I'm going to be setting my eye base area with some loose powder from Maybelline in the shade Light. And then we're going to be using the Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium. I know that's backwards, sorry. <laughs> and then we're going to start applying that to the eyelid. I don't know if any of you creative people or just even non-creative people when you are about to start drawing you get this white piece of paper and it is super white that you just want to start doodling all over it this is how I feel every time I get the smooth concealer BAM that's what I'm talking about right there I just want to like start drawing on my eyelid <laughs> so then we're just gonna be setting it in and I'm going to be showing you guys this is inspiration um, picture that I had bumped into on Instagram and we're not going to do this exact look right there that one oh my god amazing she has some amazing work I'm going to link her down below um, I was inspired by the jewels that she has on her forehead the colors so that's sort of what we're going for today so if you want to be inspired by my look keep on watching so it wouldn't be an amazing look if I wasn't using the Morphe Color Burst 35B palette. We're going to start off with this pink shade and start applying it onto our upper crease area and blending it backward, front back motion, and then packing more on. <laughs> it's really hard to explain this to you guys. Um, and I do this for an amount of time until I am okay with the shade that I'm going for. She will lay next to me for hours. I will be filming and she'll be in the same spot. Oh my gosh. She's an amazing dog, you guys. So moving on. We're going to be using the same palette and going back and getting some of that purple. It is a lighter shade and mixing it with that darker shade that I had just shown you guys. We're going to start moving in into the crease area and start buffing it out and sort of mixing in that pink and purple. And then we're going to be going in and getting some of that black and we're going to be adding it to our outer corner of our eyelid, not the inner, outer. And we're going to be creating more of a stretched out cat eye look. I am going for more of a dramatic um, eye than more of a natural as you guys can tell but the shape is what I'm talking about. Um, I don't want it to be a small shape because I have enough space um, on my eyelid that I want to be using so I just start buffing out that black into that purple and this is my favorite brush. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked it out check it out. Okay, so now going in with this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium, I'm also going to be using it for a base to cut the crease. And I just add it to the middle of my eyelid and then I look up and it transfers over to the upper part of my lid. <laughs> and then I just start using it to give me a guideline of how I need to start shaping the look that I want. If you guys have any techniques that you guys want to share with me, I can possibly use in some of my videos, please let me know. Um, I'm totally open to new stuff. Um, so yeah, just either DM me or comment it down below. Okay, so the look that I'm going for, the shape, it isn't a winged out look. It is more of a round downward cut crease. You guys will see what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't wing it out. I just drag it down. I didn't want to go too dramatic so this is the shape that I'm going for.
Okay, so we're going to be adding some of that matte yellow and that shimmer yellow onto our eyelids. And the matte yellow we're going to be adding to our inner and outer corners of our eyes. And then I'm going to go in and start adding that shimmery yellow to our mid eyelid. This is a halo and cut crease look that I'm creating and then hopefully it comes out very great. <laughs> Okay, so this is where I messed up. I used that Shape Tape Concealer and that is a full coverage yet very um, heavy concealer. I should have used more of a creamier concealer. You guys will see what I mean. Um, I added that shimmer on top of it and it was really hard to maneuver and start blending with that yellow. So I recommend not using that one and start using a lighter concealer. And I obviously blended it in to try to make it more believable that that shimmer shade needed to be there. So what I did is I went into the ColourPop uh, Shimmer Palette. It is the, called the State of Mind and I grabbed that orange and that cool blue and I started adding it to the shimmer shade that I added before just because I wanted it to pop. I wanted it to look that it needed to be there, that it belonged there. So after I did that, I went back into the same palette and I grabbed that white to pink shade and I started adding that into our outer corners of our eyes to make it pop and make it really nice and shiny. So then I added um, some foundation and the Urban Decay and the Milani 2-in-1 and I added um, also some concealer and I just added the Shape Tube Concealer and I started adding also the bronzer from Pure Sculpture and I love this. I also got this in a boxy charm. And I use those two shades there, and then I start adding mascara. Also got it in a boxy charm, <laughs> and I just start adding some lashes. Now the endings are always the ones that go by really fast, so I just added bejewels at the end off camera. And I do hope that you guys enjoy my looks and continue to like, subscribe, comment down below, and follow me on social medias. And I will just see you guys until later. Bye. While I'm coming off the court fully drenched Here goes some hater rain, get your thirst quenched Style doing them in this bird very trench These birds copy every word, every inch But gang gang got the hand